And we're continuing to follow the push to revoke Governor Cuomo's executive powers. It's been nearly a year since the governor was given the power to issue executive orders because of the pandemic. But now lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say they feel it's created an unequal distribution of power in what's supposed to be three equal branches of government. Emily Burkhardt joins us with what our local lawmakers are saying about it. Emily. Jerry Benita, to start, let's just talk about what the governor can do with these executive powers. The measure allows him, through executive order, to temporarily suspend any law, regulation, rule, or local law that would impede the compliance or prevention of the necessary action to conduct pandemic response. This has allowed Cuomo to issue executive orders on a range of issues, including closures of businesses, to altering how elections are conducted in order to limit the spread of the virus. The orders must be renewed and updated every 30 days, but that does not require legislature approval. However, the legislature could have overturned any of those executive orders at any time. They just haven't. Since the nursing home scandal broke, though, many are now calling for a change, including Republican Senator Jim Tedisco. Tedisco says the governor is trying to expand those emergency powers further, not only related to COVID health and safety, now he's trying to relate it to an economic emergency. Tedisco says the governor wants any additional revenues generated this year to go into a fund which he has sole discretion over. We have to be meaningful parts of this budget negotiations and stand up and uh, be a part of representing our constituents, not sitting back and deferring to uh, one single person. And as I said, the last time somebody had that much power, it was a king sitting on a throne in England. And we know what happened there. Coming up here from a Democratic assemblyman who has a similar position, I'll explain how he feels the executive power in the state should be amended. Coming up live at five. Jerry Benita. All right, Emily, thank you.